With you, the sun is shining 24 7. Cause when we're together, it feels like we're in heaven. If it will get dark, you'll be my million stars. I know I can lean on you. Oh, you catch me like a leaf falling from a tree. If I be a shooting star, you make a wish. No, I don't fake this kind of feeling, never felt so real. My heart is on the table, cause you're my everything. I do, 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 do. I wanna marry you. Hola YouTube, my name is Ricardo Lino and I'm a wheel addict. I think I got saved by this. That was that was a short session. Anyway, today we're gonna to be talking about the world champion frames, aka the Sola Joe Atkinson ILO frames. So let me tell you, this is not my first pair of solar frames. This is, in fact, my third set of solas. First ones got robbed in Barcelona. They were the same color, but just a flat 60s. Then I got a, a set of black 60s. But it's been almost six months that I last skated my, my solar frame. I did bought these ones, just like I bought the previous twos. No, I bought the, the first ones, and the second ones were given to me by Eden Skate and I did bought these ones from from Sola and today I'm gonna share with you my opinions about this so let me tell you that obviously as you just saw I didn't have a long session I was planning on skating a lot more but I don't feel very healthy after my last fall so I hope you guys <laughs> understand anyway it was enough for me to fill the frames and to be able to share with you guys my opinion about these solar frames so I did skate them with the famous wheels these ones allow me to use 60 millimeter wheels in the middle and 64 in the front and back and that's exactly what I used I used the the fast wheels I think that's the name of it the 60s and the furious which is the 64s from famous this is the first version of the famous wheels and they are now making new wheels they even make a collaboration with with solar because the wheels have, have a new spoke designed by Kyle Sola, which is the designer of this frame but that doesn't really matter in this video what I want to share with you guys is my thoughts about the frame and I can tell you that these things flow yes obviously I'm not going to say that Joe Atkinson is so good because of the frames but I'm going to tell you that if you skate these with these wheels probably with these wheels even better I don't know but these with these wheels they just roll so smooth they just roll so good and then at the same time they will they allow you to move you know i've been skating anti-rocker a bit or i've been skating with smaller wheels and now putting like 60s and 64s on ilo aluminium frame with aluminium hubs these things fly so they are very very fast they allow you even being long because this is a 200 75 millimeter length frame and this boot is a size 43 us 10 uk 9 and it doesn't feel like a 275 millimeter frame yes i'm skating flat but it doesn't feel like that i don't really know why because it's not anti it's not rockered or slightly rockered or anything like that it just feels very easy to move around that's awesome now Something that I really love about these frames is the walls of the frames are very, very slim, making it... If you want to slide, you know that you are not going to shuffle, you know? It's like the frames usually... Like, if you see the line between the edge of the sole plate and the wheel, you will see that it's not touching the frame, meaning that you can wheel slide, 
without shuffling on these frames. Maybe not with these wheels so much because these wheels have a lot of grip, but it's something that you can actually do very good with these frames. And yeah, these having a, a, a much slimmer frame also, um, according to Sola, even if you look here, you'll see there's a the little line along the frame. That's as much slimmer this frame is. And by having a slimmer frame, according to Sola, you will have a wider sole, which is obviously what's happening here. Um, I don't know if you have that much advantage out of it. For me, that's not the biggest advantage, but it's obviously something that physically happens. Now, something that it's also, yeah, I would say it's maybe harder is to do topside tricks because there's no way to cheat on this. Usually, I said that when I made my previous review of the first solar frames. If you want to do a topside trick on a plastic frame, which is usually wider, before you get to the topside position, a lot of people just put their feet like this and then they slide on the frame into the position. On these ones, if you don't put it straight into the position, you will be rolling on the wheels, my friends. You either put it like completely flat or you're going to be rolling on the wheels. So that makes it a bit harder but also makes them look better. Now, in my opinion, these things are a lot slower than most of the plastic frames when it comes to topside tricks. I don't feel that much on sole tricks, like if I do a sole grind, an acid, even a macchio, I don't feel it that much slower. But if I try doing a topside, somehow I feel them a lot slower. Probably they're not slower, they're just sliding completely different from what I'm used to and that's the reason why I feel like that. I'm not going to blame it on the frame but one of the reasons why I fell was because I was trying to do this backside to mistrial and I wanted to to lean forward on the mistrial and at the same and I wanted to get super low on the mistrial and every time that I was going super low on the mistrial I was feeling like I was getting stuck. I didn't wax the rail or anything but on the back sides like with this with this edge block they slided so good so back slides were just like just gliding like going and then anytime the the sole would touch even on the mistrial it would feel slow so then it I wouldn't say it's a con, it's just something that you need to adjust. Topside tricks, sole tricks, when the sole trick is in front, you will feel it slower, like a Mizu, a porn star. But again, you will get used to it. Now leaving the sole tricks and going into the edge block tricks. These things are amazing. I do have the aluminium edge blocks, which is one of my favorite ways to skate the solar frames especially if I'm going to be skating a coping or if I'm going to be skating a bowl or anything like that. And today I was actually a bit sad because I came to this park that has a, a low bowl, but like an amazing bowl. I love it. It's just fast, like it, it's slow, but fast. But I couldn't skate it because it was wet and there was some leaves, like wet leaves and stuff. So I couldn't really skate it. So I tried to skate the rest of the park, which I'm not gonna say that this frame is not made for it, but this frame, where this frame shines, is really on skating transitions, balls and curves and stuff like that. So I was just trying to skate some ledges and little things that, yeah, you'll see Joe Atkinson kill it, but it's harder for me, especially if I've been used to skate with anti-rockers. And that's where this brings me back to the age block. The age block of this, well, this material, it's, it's amazing. Comparing this material with the 3D printing material, like there were, I had two, I had the nylon 3D printed ones and the alumide, and they're completely different. This thing is just amazing. I really, really, really love the material of this. This is, this is a little bit harder than, than the regular plastic. This is not UHMV or UHMW or whatever that is, but it is that hard. It's, a, it's awesome. In my opinion, I don't like the groove as much as I like on the on the aluminium ones or on the 3D printed ones. But that's something that with time, if I skate it, it's just going to get to the perfect groove. So I actually understand why they make this groove. I prefer to have a groove like this, which is not as deep, but with time it will adjust to my skating, making it perfect. 
so that is very good. So what I was saying is I prefer to have a groove not that deep but in this material than having a super deep groove but then in a not so good material. So I think it's a very, very, very good option to have this edge block on this frame. Other than that, this frame also comes in two colors. If you've been wondering, this is the exact same height as the, um, as the regular Solas that you might have seen. I think it's the Lot 1 or at least the first versions of the Solas, the non-Joe Atkinson ones, the flat 60s. The exact same height here on the edge block. You can put the same edge blocks, you can shift from one to the other. The main difference is that these wheels, well, you need to make some changes on a lot of the boots. As an example here on these M12s, I had to, to shave, I had to dremel some stuff here. So the wheels will be, they will be higher than the frame, so you need to dremel some boots. I know that they fit perfectly on dams, on adapts, but some other skates on the market, they still don't have those wheel wells, so you're gonna need to make them yourself. I did make them and I love them. If I need to give you a final conclusion about these frames, I really, really, really think it's an amazing product. I think I'm, if I was still in Cape Town skating that bowl that I used to skate every day, this would be my everyday frame. Now, on the skate park that I'm going to have, that we just got the keys yesterday, I might be skating these a lot too. So yeah, at the moment, trying to skate a plaza skate park, this might not be my everyday frame, but it's for sure in my top three frames on the market right now. Comparing these to the regular or to the previous or to the flat 60 Sola, I think I would go with this any day. It's, it just feels the same. It doesn't feel taller or anything like that, but it does roll smoother. And those extra five millimeters of length, you don't really feel them. So perfect. As a skate park frame, it's perfect. As a street skating frame, I think you need to, to get used to it, but it's amazing. So yeah. Ah, one last thing. This frame is actually cheaper than the previous version. So the previous version used to cost 180 euros and you can now buy them for 149, meaning that it's 30 euros cheaper. And I don't want to say anything wrong. I don't know if they're giving 10 or 15 euros on each frame that you buy to, to Joe Atkinson. So, you know, if you're buying one of these, you're actually supporting an amazing skater. Not just one, because Kyle is also a very good skater. So you're supporting at least two amazing skaters. So that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I wish I, I had skate more, but at least I'm healthy. Nothing wrong with me. <laughs> Tomorrow it's going to be hurting a little bit more, but other than that, it's all good. So thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, do not forget to subscribe to the channel. You know, you saw our previous video, we're building my private skate park and for that we're gonna need your support now more than ever so if you want to support us there's a couple of different ways you can become a patreon you can click on the join button here check the perks that we have with just two euros a month or two dollars you can support us a lot or you can just go to our shop at willedic.shop and then you can buy our merch buy skates from us and we you are really supporting us and supporting our dream of having our skate park and then that's when the the real content <laughs> is going to start because having my own control environment to film my own stuff it's going to be a completely different game but that's coming in the future so that doesn't really matter what does matter is that you should never ever ever forget why we all started skating and that is because it's fun cheers and see you soon was i okay deco